Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. This is a much watch, must watch. If you guys are wondering, will the narcissist change? Um, I just did a video where I had said that um, I had told my sister, you know, I'm a good person. And she's like, why do you keep saying that? And I reflected back, like, it's because I feel like I'm being done wrong. Like I'm telling you who I think I am. So I had just watched another video. I'm getting, re getting ready to upload that video that I just did. And I was scrolling through with all the shorts and there's a self-aware narcissist who had said um, in reply to something, uh, do you always feel like people are going to leave you? Um, and he had said, he's a self-aware narcissist, uh, has great contact, um, but can they change? So uh, there's a couple of slip ups where um, he seems a little more healed than I think he is. Um, but anyways, um, I'm not going to judge. He's, he's trying um, and has some pretty good insight. But he had said in reply to that, that, uh, you know, he felt that people were going to leave him. And he's like, you know, I, I'm a good person. I'm loyal. I'm this. I'm that. And I'm like, oh, wait, I got to self-reflect before I post this because you know, we're all humans. Like we, we all have our flaws. And I'm like, wait, is this something narcissistic? Cause they just told you, um, that I'm a good person. That's how I see myself. So I wanted to double check this before I posted it. Um, and in his thing though, he had said, I am loyal. He didn't go back and say, you know, at that time I felt I was, he, he, he wasn't loyal. He says on his channel that, He's not a loyal person. And um, just the take that I had watching that video, um, it still feels real that he believes he's lo loyal when he knows he's not. And unless he's re referring to being a loyal friend, um, you know, that shows up on time or answers the phone or whatever. Um, but usually if you do that, people don't leave you. Uh, so there's not that self-reflection, but I just thought it was really interesting that um, the conviction that they have, uh, you know, uh, if you're a loyal person, you should be loyal to those in your life. And he wasn't loyal to his wife and his identity. Uh, the way he was portraying it was, you know, yeah, I, I felt you know, it was just an interesting way that he presented it. Did, did, did he really change? He didn't even acknowledge. Um, it, it was just a weird way of him saying it. Like he shouldn't have been left, that he was loyal, you know, and, and in hindsight, you know, um, why is that still in his head? He could have said, you know, I'm a good person, I'm funny, um, but he still uses that as his justification of being a good person. And um, so if he was loyal to his friends, uh, he wasn't loyal to, to his wife. And that's where this narcissist stuff comes. The closer you are to them, the less loyal they become. Um, maybe it is because the uh, bar is raised, you know, um, you know, uh, what, what, what do we owe people, you know, um, common courtesy, you know, uh, acknowledgement. Um, but the people in our lives, uh, you choose your wife, you choose your wife, and you make a, a social contract between you guys of what's going to be acceptable, what's not going to be acceptable. And I just thought it was a really interesting trait on, on the self-reflection of it still being a, a trait that is believed um, and, and, and not counteracted with I thought I was loyal but I wasn't I see that I wasn't when I thought I was but cheating is like a no-brainer you're not being loyal in in your marriage unless you guys have some agreement so can they change um these are self-aware narcissists that know exactly what they're doing wrong um if they're able to self-reflect uh you know uh what well, it doesn't make sense. Uh, they can see how much they've destroyed their lives. And that's usually a big awakening. Um, but it's for self-purpose. And, 
you know, as long as the narcissist is going through life without this awakening of their evil ways, um, they're not going to try to change. And it's just like dieting. You know, uh, I was pretty lucky. Um, I lost about 80 pounds and I've kept it off. Um, but most people, uh, yo-yo diet, uh, not, not very many people are successful consistently. Uh, it takes commitment, effort, mental ability to think, you know, am I eating healthy or what are the calories? Um, the narcissist uh, is just like um, people with their, their struggles in weight or people with quitting smoking. Sometimes, you know, um, people will stop smoking if they have the willpower. Um, sometimes people will lose or gain weight if you need it, um, if they have the willpower. So narcissists have different levels of empathy. Some have like basically zero. Um, and there's also those uh, psychop psychopathy and uh, like extreme lack of empathy. Um, there's different kinds of mental illnesses. Another thing I was watching was on Amber Heard. If you guys had watched the video or the uh, court case, she was, I believe, I forget if it's borderline, borderline trying to remember, borderline and bipolar. Um, but everybody's calling her a narcissist. And um, the I, I didn't evaluate her. But um, a lot of these uh, YouTubers are calling her a narcissist. Um, and she wasn't diagnosed with that. So sometimes it could be a faulty or a slip through the cracks. But um, people have narcissistic traits. They have comorbidity with other things. Um, so she might have four out of nine traits of being a narcissist, which isn't enough to become diagnosed with being a narcissist. But people, mental illness is so hard to understand when we use layman terms and we use professional terms and we, we're just trying to understand what went wrong. So the diagnosis itself is not what's important. Um, because if the, if the psychiatrist, a psychologist uh, misdiagnosed Amber Heard, what matters is her actions. What matters is her intent. Um, and I think when we're dealing with our special person, our specific person, um, the intent really matters. And I want you guys to take that to heart. The intent matters. Because you want somebody to care about you. You know, um, if, if, if they tried to make you a nice meal and they purposely burnt it, I'm like, that's not cool. But if they tried and they burnt it, it's like, I understand that was sweet. Is it sweet that they purposely burnt it? And you deserve somebody who, who tries their best, you know, uh, in life. Um, sometimes it's not always going to turn out right. But if the intent is there, that's when it's sweet. If a, a malicious intent is there, eh, that's not sweet. That's not what you deserve. And that's where the self-esteem issues come in. Um, we, we look at it different. I'm just glad they're feeding me. I'm just glad they're feeding me. Because we get into that starvation mode. And there's other food in the world. There's other fish in the sea. And I used to always joke that my ex is a fisherman and he's killing them all. <laughs> he's taking all my fish. <laughs> and uh, those are my other husbands I could pick from. Um, but just hang in there. Uh, keep busy, reconnect with people and be careful. Some of the things that, that, that we learn, always double check things, cross-reference things. And, um, you know, it, it, it's hard to understand mental illness because what we do is we relate to our mind. Um, just like if I tell you, you know, ice cream is delicious, like you're going to relate it to a, a, a type you like. Um, you, you need a point of reference. So if all you've ever eaten is chicken your whole life, you're not, you're like, it's sweet. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. And I try to describe it. Uh, you're trying to relate it to chicken, to chicken. To, it, it's unrelatable. So you can accept it. Well, that's what the narcissist does is, is we're, we're trying to connect with them and they can't connect with them because they don't understand it. They don't have the point of reference. They don't feel even, you know, my, uh, 
I've been with two. My second narcissist was honest. They can be honest at times, not always. Um, but he was like, I don't feel like other people do. I don't love like other people do. And they, they know that. And uh, they also don't self-reflect. So I just thought it was an interesting point when I came across it. I'm like, wait a second. The way you're saying it is like with such conviction that you're a loyal person. Um, he knows he's done some things wrong. Like he does take accountability on that. But uh, this is where it gets tricky too. Um, sometimes I'll take accountability only when they have to. Because he had to take accountability to keep his wife, you know, because um, it's, it's stable and consistent. So he wanted that. Um, so he, he was going to lose everything if he didn't do it. Just like um, I've noticed that the self-aware narcissists are the ones who are like way up there in views. People are just flocking to them. And the people, whether it's uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, the ones that aren't these self-aware or proclaiming to be self-aware if if they're more the empathetic or they went through a bad relationship themselves or they counsel people that way um they're they're, they're not as popular on youtube so these narcissists love to be popular so why not tell everybody yeah i did this i did that i did everything wrong and i even got dirty and did this and they're gonna take as much accountability as they can because we're just strangers out here in youtube you know um they can say whatever they want, but I'll tell you what, you go to the bar tonight and you meet them. Are they going to be like, yeah, I cheat. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, I stole someone's money. Yeah, I did. Their intent. They want to grow on YouTube, so they'll take accountability. Um, <laughs> it's exhausting. So I'm going to go take a walk because even just understanding them, let alone trying to make the situation better can be really exhausting and you deserve somebody who has the right intent for you so take time for yourself heal and then move on um narcissists jump into relationships and that's why they fall apart so take it slow uh day by day and just keep your energy up draw people closer to you with your high as high energy as you can be um, your emotional happiness, fake it till you make it. Um, objects and motion stay in motion. So rewire that brain, enjoy life. And I'll see you in the next video. Topic requests are welcome. Enjoy the day.